Okay, so uh, to get uh, an Excel spreadsheet into your project, basically make up a spread spreadsheet, whatever you want. Uh, go to File uh, on your Excel, and what you want to do is you want to go to um, Save As first as some Excel spreadsheet, wherever you're going to go. I'm going on my desktop, so save that. I'm replacing a current one I already did. Uh, from there, you're going to go File, Save as PDF. Um, you can go ahead and use your selection. It doesn't matter. You can say actual size or fit to paper width or something like that. Just leave it as it is. Say convert to PDF. Um, save it as some kind of name. Um, mine again is just test. I'll hit save. And that's on my desktop now. Okay. And so this one came up blank. So hang on a second here. Let me get back to Excel. Make a selection here. File. Save as PDF, selection, actual size, convert to PDF, and save, it's replacing my existing file real quick. And there it goes, all right. So it's now showing up, all right? So um, I need to get this into Revit. Keep in mind though, it is actually showing this full piece here, so that might not be ideal for me, okay? So um, what I might want to do is maybe do a file export, to image and do a TIFF, that would work out. Um, again, I'm just gonna put it on my desktop, I don't care. Just make sure it's got a single F in the TIFF. All right, hit save and it's kicking it out there. And so I've got that now ready for use. I'm gonna create a view. It's going to be a drafting view. We don't care about its name right now or its scale, we'll say okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in. So at this point, it's easy. If I would not exported it out as an image, then I would bring it in as an import PDF, or I could import as an image, either one. So I'm probably interested in cropping that original image, right? So let's have a look at that image that I just got. That's my desktop. And let me see here, where is it? Here. All right, so if I select it and I choose to simply an edit, I'll get an editor pop up for me. I know this is a lot of steps. Oops, Control Z, undo that. Uh, I'm going to do a selection here. That way I can take it and move it in the upper left-hand corner of the screen for myself. And I'm doing this all in an attempt to um, make sure that I am able to, I'm hitting enter right there so I can get out of that. What I'm looking for are these resizing uh, grips that are typically on the size sides there. Uh, let me see, resize, I don't need that. I uh, don't need that, crop, I don't know. Anyway, so there's there's grips on the sides of these things. Here they are, they're real tiny, they're hard to see. Uh, or maybe it's just hard for me, <laughs> I need glasses. Um, all right, so here we go, just kind of edged up like this to the edge right there, that's good. File, save as, and then the tip, again all right so i'm just going to my desktop here where is that image right there i'm going to select it save right yes okay done there and done there get back to my revit here and in my drafting view i'm just going to go ahead and uh, i don't want to link because i don't plan on changing it so i'm just going to straight up import browse to the uh, desktop location, so my desktop is here, and you can see my test page tip is right here, open, and I click and I place it, right? Now, on a sheet that I might want that to go on to, I'm just going to use out-of-the-box sheet just so I can show that being drafted and pulled over onto it, so you can kind of get an idea, just because of, if I uh, was in the drafting view over here, I select it, you know, it does have a scale of eight inches by eight inches, or I'm sorry, it has a width of 19 feet by five in terms of quarter or, or one and a half inch scale, right? So what I could do is help myself out a little bit. Maybe it's too large for the sheet. So maybe I want to bring it down to about half inch scale, right? Back to that and kind of see what happens because it's on a half inch scale. That looks kind of better, right? Select the image, pull that back, and then I can kind of drag that around if i don't want to show that title obviously i can come up here and switch it out if i don't have the viewport without a uh, an invisible title i would have to duplicate and make one 
no title, okay. And then on here, we'll say none, show title as no, and the rest of it should be okay. You'll notice it disappears down here. And then I'm pretty much good to go right there if I'm happy with all that, okay. Maybe the scale might be kind of judged based on maybe the way your title block text looks to just decide, you know, okay, what scale looks appropriate, okay. All right, I hope this helps. Um, I will talk to you later if you need help.